Currently, what's happening with Tesla's stocks is quite interesting. We've seen a significant jump in its price recently, but I fear it might not last long. Why do I think so? It's because of the volatility which I closely monitor. Lately, it has been increasing and a volatility smile doesn't bode well for Tesla. Strikes are also extremely high. It all looks rather discouraging and we'll discuss it today. We'll also review my portfolio which I manage using a strategy called Tesla Stock Overrun. So let's immediately start with the volatility overview in Tesla's overrun review. This is our primary focus. I remind you that the options market is crucial at the moment, especially the Tesla options market. Looking at volatility, there has been a sharp spike. This occurred after several days of decline, quite steep at that. I'll also incorporate more date expiration. Let's quickly look at the volatility smile. Yes, it's tilted towards puts, indicating a downward trend. Let's add more strikes here. All right, the picture regarding Tesla is starting to clear up a bit. What do we have in terms of open interest in the review? Our most concentrated strike on calls is $200, and as you can see, these are mainly the nearest expiration dates. Here you can see everything. We also have a significant concentration on puts from $170 to $180, which of course doesn't bode well for Tesla's stock. It's experiencing quite a downward movement. Let's move on to it immediately. What's happening with it? First, I remind you that I cannot predict the movement of the stock. I don't know where the stock will go. It could go up. It could go down. My task is to manage the position wisely dot and I do it absolutely in real time and in practice all transactions. You can track and watch previous videos related to Tesla's stock. I also want to remind you that fundamentals do not affect the stock in the short term. Yes, in the long term, it's very good, but in the short term, fundamentals do not affect the stock. As we can see in 2022, the company's revenue fundamentals were much lower than in 2024. But as we can see, the stock was almost 2.5 times more expensive. Then by the way, a gamma squeeze happened, not a short squeeze, but specifically a gamma squeeze on options. Therefore, options have a significant impact on the stock. Let's immediately move on to the trades. Last week, I sold several options. There is such a strategy, and I also sold one call spread. As you can see, it's currently open. However, at the moment, my options are divided into several. Here are the sold $220 call and the bought $232 call. As we can see, here it is. This position will close for me this week. Also, I sold one put for this week at 175. That is, I'm saying that during the week, Tesla's stock won't drop below 175. There's no guarantee here, but it's very interesting. We've tested this level several times and couldn't break it. But my friends, if things continue like this, there's a possibility that we'll break it and go lower. Currently, my position regarding Tesla is as follows, I've sold one put and sold a bear call spread for the moment. Now I'll see what can be done, how I can open a position. And I decide to do that. After much deliberation, I've decided to open a bull put spread. Essentially, it's selling puts. So my task at the moment in this strategy is to collect volatility. As you can see, the volatility is very high. And I'm utilizing this strategy to collect it. Disclaimer, never replicate trades based on my actions. Everything is done on virtual accounts. This is solely for show. If you copy my trades, you will definitely lose money. Never try to replicate my actions. Now let's get back. The profit loss of this trade looks like this. I earn a little, but I could lose a significant amount. However, the risk to reward ratio is on my side. Time decay will also have a good impact on my position. So I'm opening this position. Let's summarize the portfolio. Today is March 5th. Tesla is currently priced at $180. Also, I want to add that initially, when Tesla dropped by 10%, my portfolio increased by $71. As we can see from the graph, my portfolio is gradually growing while Tesla sharply declines. Therefore, my current strategy is outperforming Tesla by almost 11%. Honestly speaking, it's not entirely my merit because we hedged at $200 and Tesla dropped on its own. So my merit in outperforming Tesla through hedging isn't significant. However, we can't neglect this fact. The question is how to lock in this outperform. Apart from selling options, I'll also purchase Tesla shares. Additionally, I've already accumulated some profit from Tesla shares and I'll use it to buy more shares gradually. There's no need to rush though, no need for fanaticism. All right, I've opened my spread. As you can see, I've sold the 165th put and bought the 145th put. Let's add it to our table. I received $94 for it. Also, don't forget about commissions. I include them as well. As we can see, I bought one Tesla share and now I have shares of AMC SoFi and one Tesla share in my portfolio. Let's add this to our table. Here we have one share. I bought it for $180. So that's the current situation regarding the portfolio. In conclusion, I can say that Tesla is currently in a rather precarious position. If the indices continue to fall, even though they're at historical highs, but if the acceleration continues downwards, then of course Tesla won't withstand it and will fall. That's my opinion. Again, I can't predict price movements. This is solely my assumption. I don't know the future, I can only speculate. If you want to see a more detailed strategy regarding Tesla, watch this video where I explain how I'll manage the position.